Getting a job is for losers. Real entrepreneurs don't need to get a job. And if you have one, you're not a real entrepreneur. Today, I'm going to show you why these affirmations might be wrong. Coming up next. Hey guys, this is Broke to Beast, where we make videos about starting your own business online or offline, as well as follow along my own journey. Before we start, if you like entrepreneurship and business content, make sure you go down below and subscribe because we post videos every day about helping you achieve your success. All right, so I used to be one of those entrepreneurs or people that try to make money online that believe that having a job is not a good idea as an entrepreneur. And that's a soft way to put it. The harsher reality was that I always thought that getting a job was definitely not for me and I was not employable. And Although I stu do still believe in partially in these affirmations, I believe that having a job can help you in the long run. However, having the, this type of mentality may have helped me until now. And I'll explain why in a few minutes. Now, here are the two main steps you need to take in order to decide if you want a job. First, you have to decide if you're really an entrepreneur. You really have to go dig deep down in yourself, look at the lives of people that are trying to build a business or that have built a business before and decide if that's actually what you want to do. Because most entrepreneurs know that creating a company and being, having it be successful can be very stressful and it can be very hard in the beginning to get it up and running. And most entrepreneurs fail. And so if you have the expectations of, oh, I'm going to have success right away, I'm going to make a lot of money with no, with no hours, just doing the four hour work week. Well, I guess you're probably in for a rough ride and you're probably going to quit fast. But if you expect that it's going to be a long road and it's a game for the long term and you're prepared for it and you've had maybe a couple of failures before and maybe a small success before, you're probably prepared and you already know that you're an entrepreneur. Now, if you don't know if you're an entrepreneur or not, then I just say to give it a try. Try to build a business in a month, learn about different types of businesses and some that you can start at home and try it for a month to work every single day and see what it feels like, see the potential that it has and you probably be able to understand if it's for you or not. The second step is to evaluate your discipline level. In my opinion, one of the most underrated skills you need to have as an entrepreneur is to have discipline. I, I'd even go as far as saying that it's the most important thing because everything starts from discipline. If you can't work every single day, you'll be outworked by somebody who can and your company will fail. Maybe not in the short term, but in the long term. If you don't have the discipline to maintain certain standards for your company, your customers, customers will start complaining and things will just fall, fall apart. If you don't have discipline to keep a certain schedule for your employees or how things work in your company, everything is going to fall apart as well. So everything is built around a rigid structure of discipline that you need to have installed in yourself, but can still be flexible in order to, you know, change it, change itself. So like basically nanotechnology. So one of the reasons why I didn't get a part-time job or a full-time job for that matter in the first years of my entrepreneur journey was because I didn't have discipline. I, I grew up in a city and in a school where things weren't that hard. You could get pretty good grades just studying an average time of hours per week and or even none at all. And so you weren't ever asked to do go up and beyond and to get to the next level and grow yourself and grow your discipline. I was raised in a middle uh, income family and so there we weren't struggling. I didn't have that broke feeling. Nothing was truly hard or nothing was truly easy. It was Everything was average and I think this made me soft. No, I, I don't think, I'm definitely sure that this made me soft and I didn't have a routine in myself because I didn't have the need for it and I'm not blaming my parents or my situation or anything. Um, it's just that's how it happened and I, I'd have to probably build my discipline outside of that and so if I didn't have that and I wanted to become an entrepreneur I had to be sure that I was willing to go through the process of creating discipline and to finally become an entrepreneur and I think one of the most important aspects of my discipline building journey was the fact that I quit school so I had basically no other option and I had little money to live. 
And so a lot of times, I've, even until recently, I've, I was maybe two to three months from going broke and I was eating really bad food or the same food every single day that like I, I, would, I couldn't go out with friends or anything. And this would make me feel bad and sad and make me give me motivation to look at the brighter future and work my ass off every single day to, to get that future. And so that helped me build the discipline. The, the need to be working every single day to build a business um, helped me build that discipline up and it finally became a habit. And so the question is, if you don't have discipline, I'd say go all out, just go ham. Just quit your job. If you don't really care about your job, you know, if it's a corporate job, you want to climb up the ladder. And if you're not sure that you're not an entrepreneur, then maybe don't quit your job. But if you're still young, like in your 20s, and you're just having a job because you want a paycheck. And if you're sure, if you're completely sure that you are an entrepreneur, that's the most important thing. And if you have a strong why, then quit everything. Just quit, just go all out. At least that's how it worked for me. If you don't have discipline, this will help you immensely to build your discipline because you'll have no other option. You're against the wall and you gotta do something or else you can't eat or, or you gotta get a job. So quit your job, quit everything you're doing, go out, a lot for a few months, learn marketing, learn how to deal with people, learn what types of businesses you want to build, learn what problems you want to fix, learn how to create content, learn everything, learn everything about business and how to run a, an actual successful business. Even creating me too businesses is better in these stages because you can first, you can make some cash flow and you can start learning the basics of business without having to innovate everything and have the hock it stick market. But the thing is, if you do have discipline, as I have now, I think having a part-time job or a full-time job can actually help you. And so we're going to talk about that next. Now let's think about the reasons to get a job. The first one, you already have discipline. You don't need that being against the wall mentality. You don't need that to have that motivation. You know, you can work in any condition, even though maybe playing against the wall is the most motivating because it's life or death for the most part. Um, it's not the most stress-free environment and so it can it can have a toll on you on your mind so it's not very healthy as well so another reason to get a job is to use it for your journey so we all know that in the future you're probably not going to have a job especially if you're truly an entrepreneur you will feel inside the need to you know step out of that and create your own thing there's no other way basically it's, it's in your blood that's what i call it i don't know but that doesn't mean that a job is a bad idea because you can use your job as a tool if in five years you're gonna have a big company and you not you don't need a job and you're gonna make maybe a hundred thousand per month or two hundred thousand or a million per month in revenue, yes, that's in five years. But if you can start that company right now with money from your job, how much further do you think your company will be in five years if you have that initial money to invest in advertising or whatever you need it? See what I'm talking about? If you just go about on savings. Yeah, you can have success, but you're always going to be limited and you're always going to be on that broke mentality and, oh, I can't invest in this or I can invest in this website or whatever it is. And it won't, it, it might help you in that discipline um, stage, but I think to build a big business, you need to invest some money, at least recurring money in the beginning in order to have a bigger company. So if you have a job, you'll be able to use the extra money to invest in your business. Another reason is that you'll have stability in a world of chaos. Sometimes building a business can be very stressful. Not can be, it will be very stressful, especially if you don't have a job. And you will start have to make big decisions almost every single day and you'll have to work your ass off doing different types of jobs. And if you have an underlying stability of a job that you know you don't need to make sure you make money so you can keep the lights on, well, it, will, it can help you. Now, this might kill you. I'm afraid that it might happen to me because I haven't had a stable job for a long time and I've just got one recently. And well, let's see how it goes. But if you have discipline like I have now, at least I hope I do enough, uh, you can adjust to work in any conditions. So there's no longer excuses. Just because you're not against the wall, that doesn't mean you, you can't have success. And I'd argue that it can have more because you can invest in money from the, the, the job in the business. And the last reason to have a job is to, it helps you focus on your mission. So I remember when I had a part-time, actually no, a full-time job, uh, waiting tables, and I, I didn't really love it, to be honest. And the thing is, when you don't love something, but you have a reason for doing it, you always do it with 
passion. You always st you're happy because you know you're suffering. There's a reason for your suffering because most of life is suffering to achieve something greater, right? But if that suffering is justified, then you won't be sad because you leave your job and say, "Hey, I gotta go hit the gym," and then I gotta go home and work every single hour outside of your work is taking the next step for your business. At least that's how I felt. I always felt more energized when I have had a job because I knew that outside of the work hours, I have to be very efficient and try to keep do as much work as possible to take my, the next step in my business. If you decide then to have a job or a part-time job, at least for a while until, until you're making make maybe a full-time income with your new business, then here are a few jobs that I, I think would be a good idea. First, the job needs to give you enough money to pay your bills and have money extra to invest in your business. I'd even go as far as saying that it should be 3x the amount of expenses that you have. So if you have $500 of expenses per month, then you need a job that's making 1,500. In my case, I live in my parents' house and I eat the cheapest food. And so I, I use 150 um, euros per month, including the gym membership. And so if I have 150 per month, I could have a job that is paying me 450 per month. The job that I have now is paying me 670, which is even better. So the more money, obviously the better. However, I argue that some jobs are better than others. For example, waiting tables, you're always standing. You can't really work outside of that. So it's not the best job because it's very active and the working hours are always working. Or even if you're not working, you can't really pick up a computer and work. However, there are other jobs like the ones I just got now, which is being a receptionist at a hotel, where a lot of times the shifts can be long, they're not long, they're just full time, they're eight hours, but a lot of those hours are dead, which means you can pick up the computer and do all the work you would be doing at home, but do it in the workplace. And when somebody comes and you gotta attend to them, just attend to them and then you get back to work. You might get some interruptions, but a lot of times you might get a lot of free time to work on your business. To be honest, maybe I should have done this before and get this type of job, but I think it's really great. Other types of these jobs is maybe corporate jobs where you don't really do anything and you just have to do a lot of work for maybe three hours and the rest you can do work for your job. My father has one of those jobs, for example, or any types of jobs that gives you dead hours in it so you can work in your business, even if it's night shift. And sometimes I'd argue that's better. However, if you're still young, at least myself, I have a bucket list of jobs that I still want to have before I have a big business and have be successful and don't need a job, basically, because I'll have enough money. And I've done a few of those jobs, like waiting tables was one of those jobs. I do, I enjoy serving people and talking to customers and all that. And it definitely helped me in terms of communication and helped me uh, understand customer mentality and how to satisfy a customer, even though they might be angry at something, if the food's late or something, how to talk to them. But I've also wanted to work, for example, in the supermarket stacking stuff. I, I might have gotten a job like that. I actually got a call today, somebody offering me that job. But since I have this new job, this is way better because it has dead hours and just sitting down and it's probably more well paid. But yeah, stacking in the supermarket, I'd like to do that. Working as a receptionist in the hostel, I've done it before and I'm going to do it now again. Working with pub crawls or with uh, tour companies, maybe not daily tours, I do, like very, I do like pub crawls a lot. Working in a hostel in general, so you can meet a lot of people. And any types of jobs that you've thought about when you were a kid or when you were a young adult and you, you thought about, oh, this would be cool to do, even if just for a couple months. You might hate it at the end. For example, I thought selling door to door or selling through the phone was easy and fun, but I didn't th think it was easy, but I thought it was fun. And it, in part, it did teach me a lot, but to be honest, I don't, I'm not really into that type of uh, selling because it's mostly cold calling. So you, have, you get a lot of rejections and you're not, a lot of times you're offering products you don't truly believe in. And I think that's the number one thing in selling. Anyways, I hope all of these tips helped you out in deciding if you want a job as an entrepreneur. And so to recap, if you have discipline, then getting a job, I think it's a good idea because you can invest that money in your business. But if you don't have discipline and you know that you're a true entrepreneur, then I'd suggest you to try 
going all out all ham and quitting everything and just focusing on your business for a few months and then if you can, if you want you can go back to getting a job if you don't like it there's a few reasons to get a job you can get stability you can use the job as a tool for your journey and it can help you focus on your mission when you get out of the job you know you have to be efficient and work those hours very intensely and the, in terms of jobs to choose i'd say if you're young get the jobs that are in your bucket list so you can make sure you have those experiences but after that try to choose jobs with dead hours or the half night shifts so you can maybe take your computer and work on those on your business on your dead hours anyways i hope this helped and if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comments below and give me your opinion if an entrepreneur should get a job or not and if you like this type of content, please leave a like and subscribe because we post videos every day about helping you achieve your success with entrepreneurship. And I hope this helped. And until next time, peace.